morning. My name is Nancy Linson Bigler with the Highlands Ranch Historical Society. Today is Monday, June 4th, 2018, and we are in the Highlands Ranch Mansion in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Today we are interviewing Mary Elliott, who is an artist and has a long time history with Highlands Ranch. So Mary, thanks for coming today, appreciate that. Thank you. Would you please tell us a little bit, just some basic information about yourself and your longtime association with Highlands Ranch? So I'm a Colorado native, and I grew up in Arvada. I went to high school and college here in Colorado, and then um, I worked in Colorado, um, different companies, different corporations, and then, um, in 1991, my husband um, asked me to marry him on Loveland Pass, and then he brought me down to Hounds Ranch, and he showed me the house that he wanted to purchase for us. So the house was off Broadway and Hounds Ranch Parkway, and at that time there was nothing, um, but there was a Safeway there, but there was nothing south of that intersection. So we we're living there for um, just about a year and a half and then we decided to build a home in Westridge and at that time there was a dirt road that went over from Broadway to Westridge and we would ride our bikes over and watch our house being built. So we lived over in Westridge on Silver Maple Road for um, a number of years. Our first two children were born there. Um, I really enjoyed all of the amenities of Highlands Ranch and all the pools and all the fun things to do with your children. The library back then was over in the strip mall um, up in off Broadway and so we would go there and visit the library and go to the parks and enjoy ourselves. Then um, we moved to uh, more of the center of Highlands Ranch off Benford Road and Winterbrook Drive. When we moved there in see that would be um, 98 um, when we moved there no, I think it was earlier um, but when we moved to went on Winterbrook then I became very interested in the history of Highlands Ranch because I could see it from my home and I could see the barns and the windmill and I was just so in awe of the beauty and the history and I wanted to know more so I got very involved in um, the Historical Society and I was on the board for a few years and um, I designed the logo for um, the Historical Society back then and um, I was just really intrigued with all of the history and at um, I was on the committee where we did the trunks for the Education Committee and we had a lovely committee of, of people that worked on that project and we donated it to Douglas County Schools um, and in fact my children were even when we were at the the kind of um, send-off for that project my children were in the Denver Post uh, for an article that was talking about that release and the project that we had done so um, so then uh, there was a I don't recall who mentioned it to me but there was a contest for the 20th anniversary celebration and they were looking to do some sort of commemorative art poster and um, so someone had mentioned it to me so I contacted Shea Holmes and um, asked them if I could come up to the property and if I could take some photographs for some reference material so they allowed me to do that and um, when I was up at the windmill I just always thought it was just such a a beautiful you can see it anywhere around Highlands Ranch it's just a high point and it's just a beautiful to me just kind of the reverence for that um, and the history it just sort of uh, to me it's just a really special special piece of our history so um, after looking at that and taking photographs I painted a painting and it was the windmill was in a bit of disrepair at the time so I kind of um, I painted it as it was but maybe slightly better um, but I just loved the view and the mountains and um, such a high point in Hans Ranch so I um, entered it into the contest and Cheryl called me from Shea Holmes and called me and told me that I had won the contest 
And with that, they printed the posters and then they also, I got a, um, an art show at the new Highlands Ranch Library. So that was very exciting and fun. Um, and so we had a nice celebration for that. Um, and the unveiling of the poster. And the posters did really well. Um, they, I believe they sold out. And so that was back in 2001 when they, when they um, printed this. And then the next year they, they had contacted me and asked me to do another poster. So this kicked off kind of a series of posters that, um, and some paintings that they purchased that are now around the different rec centers and HRCA and Jamie Noble. Um, I worked with them for, and Gary Debus um, for a number of years doing these posters and selling my art to them. So. so tell us a little bit about this poster that that uh, that you mentioned here. It's the Highlands Ranch windmill that's right here in the back of the south of the mansion. Yes. So um, the I believe when I went up there, it was a different season. So I think it changed the season a bit. Um, and uh, but I was just so just so in love with the texture and the history and the roughness of the edges of the. Um, wood and the and I could just picture the people that were making these putting these big stones which I believe are just from the area to make the the main column um, and the way the sunlight hits it at different points of the day and the way this the sun sets behind it there was just so much I've painted it many times and um, in different seasons different light and I just just love everything about it um, so, so it's been fun to paint over the years. Well, and this is the, the windmill is actually kind of the iconic symbol of Highlands Ranch. Now it's kind of being taken over by the uh, clock tower, but this is the traditional iconic symbol of Highlands Ranch. So you've really captured a, uh, something that is dear to the hearts of everybody who lives here. Thank you. And how do you, what, what is the title of it on there? Highlands Ranch Reference. So that's really the way I feel about it, and um, and uh, it just seemed like an appropriate title. Sounds good. Tell us a little bit more about. Do you, are you ready to tell us a little bit more about your art? Or before you do that, tell us what kind of art is it? What medium do you use when you're painting, and how do you get inspired, and how do you paint? Do you paint in your, you know, in your backyard, or kind of what's the process? So I paint. This particular painting is an acrylic painting. And the original was donated to the Highlands Ranch Library. It is still on display behind the reference desk at the library. Um, it is, uh, I would describe my work here as very realistic, but um, a little romanticized perhaps, but, um, but I think the, the more that I um, looked at it and the closer I got to it and just feeling the rock and the wood, um, I just love the, I just love the subject matter. And um, it is very interesting in different light. Um, I, let's see, it took me about, I would say a month maybe, well, it may, perhaps a little longer to paint this painting. Um, different paintings take me different lengths of time, um, but this one seemed to just flow. It was just really a fun painting to, to paint, and um, it was on my business card for a number of years, it's just something that I love. So well, that was going to be another question, is what other kind of uses then can you make of paintings like this? So putting it on a poster, it's now hanging at a, at a standard place in Highlands Ranch. On a business card, Have you uh, are, do you have anything in books or... or uh, note cards or what other kind of things can you do with it? Um, so this particular painting, um, because it was purchased by Highlands Ranch for the 20th celebration, um, 20th anniversary, um, I, I um, kind of let them do all the promotion and all of that with this particular piece. Um, I have had people approach me with, I do a lot of private commissions and so I have painted this several times for other people that 
also are in love with the windmill. Um, I have done, um, uh, let's see, I think that is, that was about it for, for this particular piece. Other pieces that I've done, um, they have been in note cards and they have been in different things. So, so for the next year, they um, had asked me to do another poster and um, they wanted something with Aspen. So I painted um, in 2002 a painting of um, kind of some Aspen kind of mountain scene and that is the next um, year in 2002. So in 2002, they asked me again to create a poster for the arts festival and they were interested in something with Aspen. So I um, painted this painting and it is, I think this is the only painting that is not in the Highlands Ranch collection. Um, they did, they, traditionally they purchased the painting and then they have it on display somewhere in Highlands Ranch at one of the rec centers. And this one is not in their collection. Um, but it was, uh, I've had a lot of people say that they have this in their homes and have enjoyed it. So the next year, in 2003, I um, painted, they talked to me a little bit more about um, what are things in Hounds Ranch that you, you would like to depict? And what are things that mean something to you? And I am a very big um, proponent of wildlife and um, when I used to ride my bike from Broadway and Highlands Ranch Parkway over to Westridge, um, when I was doing that I would see pronghorn and they would be in herds and they would be just free to roam and there was all that property out there and it was so beautiful and so in with Westridge I wanted to paint something to tribute to the pronghorn. And so I painted a three foot by four foot painting of the pronghorn and, um, and just kind of uh, from that piece of land, how there's so much wide open space, or there used to be so much wide open space. And this would be where Lucent Boulevard is now. Um, but, uh, and then the mountains are, um, depending on you know, where, where you are, the mountains sort of flatten out, and so I created a, a painting for them. And that used to be in Westridge Rec Center. And now I've heard that it is in Southwich. So, um, it, this is perhaps one of my favorites because I really loved the experience of um, driving around Highlands Ranch and seeing the pronghorn. They're just such amazing animals. I do a lot of research whenever I um, paint a painting. I like to know a lot about my subject. And so I did a lot of research about these animals and I just um, kind of fell in love with them and their, their background and how, how much they were such a strong presence in the early, um, in the early days of Highlands Ranch. Um, I, even with my family, we would be driving around, driving to Daniels Park. And I remember one time we were in kind of a, a small traffic jam because the pronghorn were going across the road and we were all stopped watching them in awe. And, um, and I just miss all the, that open space and the, the beauty of the animals and when they could roam free. So, um, so this is one of my very favorites and I'm happy to hear that it's at Southridge Rec Center where other people can enjoy it as well. And so how long did it take you to paint that and what medium did you use for that? So for this piece, this is also acrylic and it is three foot by four foot, so it's a pretty large painting. And it, um, but it, the, the more involved I am in my subject, the, the quicker the painting will go. So this is, usually it takes me about a month, maybe a month and a half to um, paint a painting. Um, depending on my personal life, I do have three children and I'm married and so we have an active, active uh, family. And so, um, but uh, this one, my children were young, back in 2003. And um, I remember this particular painting, I, I had a studio in my home. It was in the basement at the time. And, but it was so large it wouldn't fit in my studio. So I put it out on my fireplace. And um, I would sit and paint at the fireplace and my kids would be running around and 
um, luckily not spilling my paints. <laughs> so, but this is one of my favorites. 2004, um, Jamie and I were talking about what, what subject is next, and we decided to, um, to take on the, the barns in the back of the Highlands Ranch Mansion. And this is the view from my house. So from, from my house when I was living in, on Winterbrook Drive, um, I could see the barns and I would watch all the activity going on. And um, the windmill is kind of from my view from my house at that time was way up here. And so um, I would always keep a pretty sharp eye on that. And um, I just loved the beauty of it. And um, a couple times there were storms and things that would um, tear things down, but then um, they would kind of repair. And, um, but this is the way that, that I remember it. And this is the way that I looked at like the mountain ranges behind and then the, the large trees coming up. Um, and then the barns, I just was so um, intrigued with all the different barns and the different purposes of all the barns. And so through the Historical Society, I learned a lot about the different barns and what they were used for. And whenever there was Highlands Ranch days or um, my children went to Summit View Elementary and they would have a field trip and they would go to Highlands Ranch days and they would walk over there. And I would take every opportunity I could to go into any building and um, look at um, just the, the different equipment that they had and what they were using things for. This was a dairy barn and the way the floors were sloped down so that they could clean after all the dairy milking and all that and just just the history of all these and the the barns were just so um they had so much charm inside and um so anyway i was very intrigued with this and it had a very strong personal connection for me and so i wanted to paint this so this is actually the the uh, proof from the printer um, but anyway um, so I was really proud of this particular one just because of the, the connection that I had to it. Now this is a watercolor painting and um, so a little bit different approach. Watercolor doesn't take me as long and it is um, I do like wet on wet techniques and then I did some dry brushing into the details um, so um, but anyway, uh, another just fun memory of Highlands Ranch. So, and what's the title of it down there? This is the view of Highlands Ranch barns, and um, and this I would say this took me probably a few weeks to do. But usually, um, when I was producing something um, or or painting something for a poster, I would sometimes do a couple different versions. And so, um, so I have quite a collection of different paintings of different things in him. In 2005, Jamie Noble and I started talking about the growth of Hounds Ranch and different things um, that were coming up in our community. And um, this clock tower became something that we decided we would focus on. So um, in 2005, I painted the, um, town center and um, the this scene in the summer I painted it in watercolor and it was um, just uh, I think I photographed it many times and would go out and sketch it and um, people that were passing by would kind of stop and watch but um, but I was um, I really just enjoyed the lighting in this particular piece and um, the significance in, for our community and the growth of our community in this piece. Um, also in this piece, the every poster, I would do the paintings and then HRCA would take the um, paintings and then have a graphic artist put it into a form for the poster. And so I don't recall the, the person that worked on this one, but um, every year we would have a graphic artist put it together with um, the poster for a visually pleasing piece. Um, so here was another one of the, the fun ones that represented the growth of Highlands Ranch. Well, and as we mentioned before, you've done the um, 
windmill, which is still the iconic, but now this is like the secondary main uh, uh, visual that people think of Highlands Ranch, the clock tower. Yes. And I, I do think this is a, a it, it, this is definitely a different poster, just with the colors, the way that Highlands Ranch Art Festival up there. So you can you can tell there's some growth in Highlands Ranch here, as we all are testament to. Right. And it has a different look than some of the other ones. Um, some of them are historical, and um, some are, this kind of represents sort of a fresh approach and the fresh um, new things that were going on at the time. So to celebrate Highlands Ranch 25th anniversary, um, we decided to go back to the mansion and uh, paint the mansion. And um, for the 25th, uh, things look different now than they did then. Um, but as far as a subject to paint, it is so long. It's um, when you're looking at the golden mean and the different um, ways to compose a painting, um, it, it presents some challenges. So, um, but it just is so beautiful. I believe at the time it still had the ivy in the front. And that was something that I was concerned about as a historian um, because I was worried about that ivy getting into all the rock and, and ruining it but um, so I painted it without um, and because it covered up so much of it you couldn't see all that beautiful brick and so I did make that change when I paint I like to paint things the way that they are however I also want the subject to shine and I was concerned about that at the time um, but you can see the front of the um, of the the road as it came in has changed a lot um, but the structure itself is still still just beautiful and all the different rock and all the different history I tried to depict in, in this piece um, the the trees that lined it um, so I put in a little bit of that this is an acrylic painting um, this took me quite a while because there's a lot of detail and I sometimes like to paint all the detail in this particular piece I really wanted to paint it um, I love just the the entry and how it changed from one side to another um, the the uh, post the light posts are part of that Highlands Ranch um, logo that they've had for a number of years and so I wanted to put that in there so anyway I think um, it's just such a beautiful beautiful location and it just is so charming and I wanted to bring that into the piece. Um, the graphic artist at this point did um, kind of the, the brown colors in 2006 um, but I was just really just I think we all just love the mansion and um, I was honored to paint it. And how big, uh, physically big, is this? it was the original painting that you did? The original painting, I believe, is probably about the size of this. Um, uh, it's it's longer than the the poster. Um, I'm not sure where it is right now, but it's somewhere within the collection of HRCA has um, that. But it was a bigger painting, when, and I believe we even cropped off part of it um, for the poster. So um, our agreement every year when when I was working on these was um, I would paint the painting and then they purchased the painting and then um, created the posters and sold the posters and um, then I would get a few so I had some, uh, some in my collection. In 2007 um, I spoke with Jamie and we talked about um, different, different things about Hounds Ranch and um, some of the different areas were kind of unfolding but there wasn't a lot of um, uh, uh, public access to some of the areas in Hans Ranch and um, so she um, arranged for me to go out and uh, to the, some of the different properties and we picked a day and um, a gentleman took me out and we went to the different areas and hiked through and it happened to be a very rainy day um, and it was cold but it was beautiful because any time of year I think in this area with all the nature and all the rock formations and the wildlife and the trees everything is just so beautiful so we went around and um, I took some reference material 
And um, this particular rock formation is um, something that kind of stood out. And so um, it, it was wet and rainy um, on that day. And so anyway, um, but uh, the more I looked at it and all the different color and the, the way that the, the color kind of reflects, um, it was just something that I decided would be a lot of fun to paint. Um, and I put a kind of a different background into it, um, but I love the ponderosa pine and um, just a very different subject matter, but a lot of, um, there's some even columbine in there, um, but a different subject matter than some of the things that we had done in the past. And um, something, uh, I like the way the graphic artist did this piece um, with the, I would bring the paintings in and Jamie would pick, and sometimes I would give her a couple different options, um, and she would pick the one that she felt represented that particular year. And so she, um, she picked this painting, and then the graphic artist uh, went with um, this. They'll pick the, the font, and they'll pick the um, different things, uh, different elements uh, of design, and then they will do the, the checks with the printer and make sure that all the color match matches what the original is. Um, I was not involved in that process uh, until after the first year. The first year when we did the windmill, um, I was very particular about the color and the color of the rock and so I did go to the printer and um, ask for some color correction on that. Um, but this one is nice and vibrant. This is an acrylic painting. Um, this took about uh, probably a month or a month and a half. I believe I did a, another painting as well as an option for her. Um, and uh, that's the one that she picked for 2007. And so I noticed this is the back country when you said you went out, so it was you were going out into the back country. And can you tell us what the title of this one is? Because I think you've incorporated that into the title. So um, this was Highlands Ranch Back Country Wilderness Area Water and Hole Loop. And um, it was really a privilege to get to go out there and get that private tour and um, see all the, see all the, uh, uh, there was a lot of wildlife and it was just really extraordinarily beautiful. So I'm glad that they have that more open now so people can enjoy it. In 2008, I don't think we were done exploring what the beauty of the backcountry. And so um, I painted several different paintings um, I think I presented her with three or four of backcountry, and we had a really difficult time deciding what should be the, the piece for the arts festival in 2008. And um, we looked at different seasons and different um, paintings. This is a watercolor. Um, it was a pretty quick, I painted it pretty quickly, um, and it just sort of flowed. Um, a lot of, there's wet on wet, and there's um, a lot of different techniques, dry brushing in there, um, and this is called Spring in the Backcountry, and in the end, um, Jamie Noble and I decided on this one. I think she had a couple of um, people in the office also came in, and we all voted and decided on this particular piece. All right, in 2009, again, we continued with the backcountry as our theme, and the beauty and the the spaciousness, um, and Jamie had talked about these horse um, trips that she had been on, and so we kind of came up with the idea to include the horses and the open space and the beauty of the backcountry. And so um, I believe she came up with this title, it's called Horsing Around in the Backcountry, and um, so Again, a watercolor, um, a really uh, fun piece to paint, um, but just depicting the beauty of the backcountry and um, kind of the fun element with the horses in this piece. All right, in 2010, we again were exploring um, different parts of Highlands Ranch and kind of thinking about um, the historic element that is in Highlands Ranch. And this piece is called Historic Corral in the Backcountry. 
and it's this is part of the Griggs Ranch area, and um, we kind of um, we're interested in the season of the winter and kind of the falling apart of the the structures and the, um, this area that used to be purposeful and now is um, kind of uh, uh, just kind of falling apart. Um, but the wood and the history behind it and the texture in the wood and the way that the um, frozen, um, the, like the frozen weeds and the frozen different flora and fauna in here, um, the, the, this piece is a watercolor and um, but really looking at the sunshine on the um, aged wood and the texture and the, the uh, frozen uh, the frozen tundra out there. <laughs> so this one was um, a smaller piece that we did and, and I don't recall why we decided to do a smaller um, piece for this but um, again just a fun um, another representation of Highlands Ranch. And it has a nice perspective and it, it, I think as we've seen in several of your photos now you're kind of combining the old, um, most of them have a nice historic aspect which of course since we're the historical society we like but also combining with the with today's modern use of it and, and this is a reality it's a beautiful part of the ranch of what they used to do and as we saw in the last one uh, we horses and, and the love of the backcountry is still there. So it's good that you're combining the old with the new. Yes, thank you. So for the 30th anniversary, so I started back at the 20th anniversary with a contest and then every year they had asked me to create a poster and a couple of years I even said, you know, there's other artists in Highlands Ranch but um, we had a good relationship and we were having a lot of fun with um, creating this these memories of Highlands Ranch. And so um, for the 30th, we decided to go back to the windmill and to our original um, starting point. And so for the 30th, this one is called just Windmill on the Ranch. And to, in 2011, um, I again went back up to the windmill and took some reference material, um, some photographs for this painting. And uh, it's just a completely different angle, and uh, you don't see this building. I don't know if it's still there or not, but um, this building was there at the time. And a uh, different view from the, the uh, going east, looking east into the windmill. Traditionally, I painted a lot from the looking west, and um, so it was a different perspective, different time of day, and kind of a, a different, whole different feel. And uh, the graphic artist, this is a, a, an acrylic painting, and the graphic artist chose um, the background in the, this format. Um, but that particular year, because it was so important that it was the 30th anniversary, I painted three paintings and presented them. And Jamie again brought in some other people into the conference room, and we were debating you know, the, the advantages and disadvantages of each one. And um, the other paintings that I presented were um, also one from Highlands Ranch Days. Uh, this is one that um, had the, they do the, the uh, uh, hay rides and they go around the property. The windmill, you can't see it very well, but the windmill's here. Um, and the, those back barns, they, the, it's just so fun to see the cowboys on the horse and the people enjoying the the property and um, this is another one that I painted and um, the when I presented the paintings for them they couldn't decide on the three and so they ended up um, purchasing all three and making using all three in different ways um, but they did the activity guide um, and I don't know if they printed like different versions in the same year but um, this is also another painting that I really am very fond of, and it's just a whole different perspective. Um, looking at that windmill from the side and the, um, the weather-torn wood, and 
you can tell in this particular piece the um, kind of the weathered the weather continued to have its impact on the windmill and um, so in this particular piece you can kind of see that that weathering going on there was quite a bit of, of damage between the 20th and the 30th and um, so I'm happy to hear that they are um, repairing things and, and keeping the property up because it's just so rich and so beautiful um, so anyway, um, so all three of these pieces are in their collection. And um, I was honored to do that, that um, 30th anniversary as well. Do you have any other posters or uh, for any of the future years planned? Um, I, I, I don't have anything currently with Highlands Ranch. Um, I, have done, um, I have done some other pieces in the past, um, uh, things like uh, the, at the time, in 2005, they uh, asked me to, this um, organization asked me to create a painting and they wanted something, Highlands Ranch to kind of, um, they were new to the market so they wanted something. So I painted um, something for a community directory. Um, I also, um, the Highlands Ranch Community Association did a series of note cards and so there are several of the paintings over the years and they sold these. Um, I believe it was 2011 when they sold these um, in packs at the rec centers. Um, I was kind of surprised. I went in one day and um, they were selling these and I didn't know that they were producing these in no, no card form. So that was kind of a fun surprise. Um, and uh, this one in particular shows a little bit more of that painting um, with the way that the land is laid out from the windmill to the barns and the, the mansion. Um, so, uh, but I, I would love to be, uh, to do some things in the future with, um, you had asked me about some possibilities of, um, I have in the past created, um, based on newspaper articles and research that I've done, I've recreated and painted different things that don't exist, um, and I wasn't able to, um, see them to paint, but I have done that in the past, and so, it would be a lot of fun if we did something um, together with the Historical Society and painted something um, that, like the Cheese Ranch or something that had been done in the past. Well, and it, it seems like more and more we, the Historical Society and the community in general, we're getting, it's not just the mansion, but we've done in conjunction with both Highlands Ranch uh, HRCA and Highlands Ranch Metro, we've done programs in um, uh, in the backcountry, at the Failing Ranch, at the Griggs Ranch, at the Flying V Ranch, uh, at the Cheese Ranch. So there's so many aspects, so many other aspects, not just the mansion, but so many areas that are that have that are rich with history. So it would be really um, fun if we could ever uh, pull something together like that. So we have to talk, Mary. Yes. And so with that in mind, what are you doing now then? In, in, uh, you know, what's your personal life in terms of your artistic life and how could we get in touch with you, things like that. So currently I am teaching art and I um, uh, really enjoy that. I think it's given me a deeper understanding and a deeper appreciation for art and, and art as history. And um, so uh, teaching is a lot of fun, it takes up a lot of time. Um, but I also do private commissions and I have, that's the majority of my business is private commissions. Um, a lot of, I have a lot of clients in Highlands Ranch that have contacted me and um, asked me to paint various different things. Um, and so I really enjoy doing that. Um, going into people's homes and, um, you know, together we kind of create what is something that, uh, like for example, I had a client who had a beautiful, huge fireplace and they wanted something um, above their fireplace and they originally thought of maybe a, a waterfall or something. But then the more we talked, the more we decided, let's make something special that is um, you know, personal to you. So we ended up painting something from how she and her husband met and um, just a, a really uh, a fun scene. So anyway, so I'm doing a lot of commissions. I'm also doing um, uh, things for, I'm painting a piece for Children's Hospital and um, they are for one of their check-in desks. They have, um, I'm doing a 18, well, let's see, 
18 panel um, piece for them and I am, um, so I continue to paint and I have a studio in my home that is now on the first floor and um, bigger and so I love to paint and um, if anyone's interested in contacting me, my website is www.maryelliotfineart.com. Well, thank you, Mary. That's been, uh, we've really enjoyed your uh, reviewing history as seen through the eyes of an artist. I have an article here that was published in the Highlands Ranch Herald not all that long ago, and the title was, Artist Brings Highlands Ranch History to Life, and I think you've, um, you've definitely demonstrated that to us today, so thank you so much for that. Thank you very much. It's an honor.